Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a new 2021 and a half Sierra Destination Trailer 402 FK. This is a front kitchen, rear bedroom, triple slide out destination trailer. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you around the inside and the outside of the RV. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the new 2021 Sierra 402 FK Destination Trailer. Front kitchen, triple slide, rear bedroom model here. We're gonna take a minute, spin you through the inside here, and then we'll head back outside. This will be a little bit quicker than normal because I am in the service guy's way and they are waiting on me to get done. So up front here, we have again, front kitchen model. So all across the front side here, you have huge counter space, nice solid surface countertops. You have a bunch of drawers and some cabinet space. Now on the left is an access panel for the water heater for winterization and bypass and stuff down there. There's also a water filtration system underneath the sink here as well. Nice big windows there that do open and kind of overlook the front of the RV. You have pull down roller shades, high rise sprayer faucet, single bowl undermount sink with the nice matching solid surface covers there. You have some storage there on the left. Big residential refrigerator by LG does have an ice maker built in as well. You have a huge island here, solid surface countertop. You have an electric outlet on each side and it even has a little blue lighting underneath of it. Beside the refrigerator there, the lower portion is gonna be some pull-out drawers, and then some shelf space. You have the big insignia oven, four burner stove top, some more drawers on the left, big LG microwave up top with some more storage around there as well. Currently using the ducted Coleman roof ACs on this. This unit has two on it that we're looking at here. There's a little fan up there as well for an exhaust fan up there. Freestanding table with four chairs. The chairs do have a little bit of storage in them. The sofa over there, which is looking straight across at your TV is a tri-fold sofa that'll flip out into a bed if you want it to. You have some overhead cabinets up there. Again, pull down roller shades on these windows as well. A Little bit of carpet on the slide system right here just to kind of help hide the slide mechanism stuff, but mostly linoleum throughout the whole RV. The unit is a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor, which does have some heat ducts ran through the floor, and then your air is all ran through the ceiling. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy space heater, but they do look pretty cool in RVs. You have a sound bar up above, a couple drawers and some storage in that area. TV has a strap on it there to kind of hold it in place for travel, but it does uh, kind of swivel around if you want it to. Some storage on both sides, and then you even have a little bit of shelf space up there with a little blue lighting up there. You have the Thomas Paine furniture again, and this has the uh, LED light strips along with the little LED lit cup holder and it is a manual theater seat. You do have some USB charger ports over there in that corner. Some overhead space. Now you have a 120 volt ceiling fan here in the living room. And in the bedroom, you're gonna have a ceiling fan. You'll see when we get in there, but that one's a 12 volt ceiling fan. So a little bit different the way they set up the ceiling fans in the unit. There's some hang down blinds that actually come with this as well, but they're not put on until they actually get to the customer. And you can again see the big door overlooking your campsite there. Mm -hmm. 
On the side of the cabinet here, you're gonna have some controls for your slides, your awning, some light switches, uh, water heater on gas button, the electric button is outside. If you get the 12 volt heat pad option, you'll have a switch here, water pump, some tank readers as well. Furnace and air conditioner control right here, along with the light switch, or a switch for your ceiling fan there. Bathroom here. You have porcelain foot flush toilet. Little sink area there with some storage below. Glassed in shower, does have a little sit down seat. It is a two piece ABS shower. But overall, a fairly good amount of room. Back into the bedroom area here. You can see there's a screen door for the sliding glass door. You also have the removable steps for your sliding glass door as well. You'll see what that kind of looks like when we get outside there. Have a little bit of blue accent lighting back there in the headboard area, some overhead storage, window on both sides of the bed do open. Little shelf space area over there. You have USB charger ports and electric outlet over there as well. The second air conditioner control. The 12 volt ceiling fan button and stuff there. And then you can see the fan here, which looks a little different. You do have some storage and stuff back here as well. Some drawer space, closet space. The one on the left will allow you to do a stackable washer dryer or just closet space, depending on what you want to use it for. Furnace is located in this lower corner. You'll see that when we get outside. That's what those grates are there for. Little bit of dresser space down there. Electric box with some breakers and fuses on the side of that dresser. Electric outlet there as well. And then you have some TV hookups and stuff here. It looks like about a 32 inch TV might fit in there. And then you do have again the second exit entry door right there. All right guys, we're gonna head outside real quick. Again, sorry this is have to be a little bit quicker so I can get out of their way but we'll run outside, show you around real quick. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new 2021 Sierra 402 FK destination trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side and kind of spin our way around. So outside wise, you have kind of a light gray fiberglass with a lower, almost black metal skirting around the bottom of it. Does have a little overhang that kind of overhangs the front of the RV with some little amber, I uh, guess, night lights or porch lights kind of up there. The slide outs on the RV are hydraulic, and that hydraulic uh, pump is located right in this corner. You can get to it from underneath, but you can also remove that little uh, round thing there and access it there for maintenance. You're basically gonna push the button inside that you've seen on that control panel, but you can also do some stuff out here for maintenance. You can also see the heavy duty scissor jacks down there and the detachable front tongue as well. There's some bolts and stuff in there that you could remove and technically remove the tongue if you wanted to do that to save some length. Some campgrounds have length restrictions and that would save you a few feet. Now on the end of the slide out down here, there's some advertisement stickers. Talk a little bit about your underbelly armor, uh, enclosed heated tank kind of scenario, Wi-Fi prepping, along with your vacuum bonded aluminum frame sidewall sticker there, large folding entry handle, and the model number sticker next to that main door there, 402 FK. Now you see when we were inside, there's the removable steps that were on the bed. Those would go right here in front of your B 
big patio door if you're gonna use that type of stuff. A lot of people build porches, decks, and stuff around these things and never even use the existing steps for the RV. Traditional hover step on the back door to get you in and out. And you have the power awning. Again, if you build a porch up top, you may not even use this, but uh, it does have a power awning, LED light strips, has the adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff, along with the manual override in that front head. You have a couple outdoor speakers back here, along with TV hookups as well. Now in this back corner back here, again, you can see the rear stabilizer jacks there, but you also have a gas line hookup right here if you wanted to do a portable grill. Traditional flat back fiberglass RV, no fancy cap or anything like that back here. Again, it's a park model, so they are kind of expecting you just to take it somewhere and park it. Does have an arch to the roof for water runoff and stuff. Again, when you are, uh, even if you, you know, again, park this thing somewhere, you still want to get up there from time to time, check your seals around your, you know, TV antennas, your plumbing stack vents, roof vents, skylights, all that type of stuff around your corner edging. Just kind of make sure you get up there and inspect it, guys, from time to time. Now in the back section here, you can see this is the furnace exhaust. So your furnace itself is going to be located in this rear corner. You do have a little bit of storage underneath your bed. Now the unit has two dumps on it because the water systems are so far apart. So right here you have some dump handles which are located right under there. So you got a couple gray handles and a black handle right there. So basically you have a gray and black tank back here but you also have that washer dryer prep that's in that far corner and you have to remember to pull that as well. Detachable 50 amp power cord right here. Outside utility shower also right here. And then just above that you have your city water, fresh water, and you also have the cable and satellite and black tank flush right there as well. Now down below here, you can see low point water drains along with your uh, second hookup right down here. Now that handle for that extra hookup is going to be up here. Let's see if we can get around to it here. And you're also going to have a fresh water tank drain under here as well. Ten gallon gas electric water heater in this front corner here. Just above that water heater, you're going to have your stickers for your data stickers. First sticker popping up is going to be your production sticker. Has your production date, axle sizes, some tire size information, VIN number and stuff all right there, and the gross vehicle weight sticker as well. Next sticker popping up is going to be your unloaded weight sticker, which tells you what it was when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Then you're going to have your tire sticker, very important because it's got your tire pressure. Make sure you check your tire pressure before each trip. And then you also have your cargo carrying capacity sticker as well. The front side here, again, fiberglass front. Do you have a little porch light? little hitch light, two 30 pound propane tanks, area for a battery to go, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, safety change, manual jack. Again, they're not expecting you to tow this around. So this usually just has a manual jack on them. All right, guys, thank you for taking the time to check out the video. Sorry this had to be a little bit rushed here. I'm in the service department's way and just had to get this done real quick so we can get out of their way. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for checking out the video.